Good morning everyone. So last night I was out doing a bit of ploughing until quite late, hence why <laughs> parked by the house. Coming on. So uh, this morning we got a fairly busy day, we've got our fodder beet being drilled. So I'm just gonna go check the fodder beet seed before they turn up, just make sure it all's all as we want. Okay, so we've got basically a storage shed, which has got like the fur in, and we keep some of our seed in here as well. So this is where our fodder seed is. That's the stuff. So this little pack here, not underneath, because I think that's uh, some maize seed and stuff. So those four boxes is enough to do 25 acres, which is crazy, considering maize seed, you've got stacked up pallets like this. Um, so yeah, it's a super tiny seed. Oh, I don't think uh, you haven't been in here yet. So that's a little sneak preview of when we, when I show you around the building. And I will be doing it, I will be doing it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just print some maps off for um, the chap doing the lime and some maps for the chap doing the fodder beat as well. So he knows exactly where he's going. Okay, so Mr. Fodderbeat Man is uh, heading down to the field. I'm gonna jump in the truck and take the seed all down to him because uh, he doesn't have a huge amount of room for it. So he's just heading off in his nice shiny John Deere and uh, Coon Power Harrow Drill. So that's quite cool. So I'm gonna run off, grab my truck quickly. I've got a haircut in a minute as well, so I'm gonna have to run and we'll get it going. get out of the farm. We'll head down to Friggle. Okay, so made it to the field, got the seed off, got dog with me. Um, so this is the field, and I don't know if you remember uh, on the flat lifting video, I was out in a field um, doing some flat lifting. This is the field, so he's got a power harrow drill, as you saw when he drove past. So he's gonna power harrow drill into this. We're a slightly bit short on seed, so I'm gonna have to run over to uh, somewhere that sells fodder beet seed, pick up some fodder beet seed and bring that back. We're like an acre is short. You come on and take them. Okay, so this is the next morning now, so you've just seen them um, set the fodder beet van off. And I don't know if you can hear on the roof, but it is raining hard and that stopped us from being able to finish getting that fodder beat in and we're about halfway through so I'm just gonna go over and check how far he got and just show you what the conditions are like really it's just not gonna be good not gonna be good Okay, so this is the field. We managed to get the headland done. A fair bit of the short work on the sides done, but we've just still got this long run to do. And uh, this is sticky old ground, this. It's, uh, it's gonna make a mess, to be fair, if we come back in here now. It's, um, yeah, it's, it just goes like 
Mush. So yeah, we're gonna just have to see what happens. I'll keep you guys posted on that. Hopefully you guys are having better weather than we are. Um, otherwise have a smashing day and we'll, uh, we'll see you next time doing something.